For a moment, think of a function y equals f of x, like this machine where you put something in which we also call as an input, or this x. The machine is like this function f, which does its work, and it gives you something out of it, also known as the output, or this y. So, the inverse of a function is like rewinding the machine. Suppose we have this machine, which is the inverse of this machine. So here your output, or this y value, now acts as an input to this machine, and then we try to figure out what the original input was, or in this case, the value of x. That's it. This is what an inverse of a function is. For example, if you have a function that adds 5 to any number or x plus 5, then the inverse would be a function that subtracts 5, right? Great! Now let us solve some examples of finding the inverse of a function. Say we have f of x equals 2x plus 3, and we have to find the inverse of this function. So as a first step, just replace f of x with y. So y equals 2x plus 3. Next, we will switch x with y and y with x here. So we have x equals 2y plus 3. Now we just have to find y in terms of x, and we are done. To do that, take 3 on the left-hand side to make it minus 3. Now divide both sides by 2 to get y equals x minus 3 over 2, and that's it. This y is the inverse of f of x equals 2x plus 3. Next example is f of x equals x cubed minus 7, and we have to find the inverse of this function. So, as a first step, just replace f of x with y. So, y equals x cubed minus 7. Next, we will switch x and y. So, we have x equals y cubed minus 7. Now, find y in terms of x, and we are done. To do that, take minus 7 on the left-hand side to make it plus 7. What should we do next? It's simple. Take cube root on both sides like this. This will get cancelled out, and we have y here, which equals cube root of x plus 7. That's it. This y is the inverse of f of x. Next, consider this exponential equation f of x equals 2 raised to the x plus 5. First, replace the f of x with y. So, y equals 2 to the x plus 5. Now, swap x and y. So, we have x equals 2 to the y plus 5. Next, find y in terms of x. To do that, first take 5 on the left-hand side to get x minus 5 equals 2 to the y. Now, we take the logarithm with base 2 on both sides of this equation like this. Using this logarithmic rule, we get this as y times log 2 with base 2, and this we all know is equal to 1. So we are left with y equals log of x minus 5 with base 2, and that's it. The inverse of f of x equals the log of x minus 5 with base 2. See, that was super easy, wasn't it? We will solve two more examples to get a good grasp over this topic. Let f of x equals square root of x plus 4 minus 3. You know the drill. Replace the f of x with y. So y equals the square root of x plus 4 minus 3. Now swap x and y. So we have this. Next find y in terms of x. To do that, first take minus 3 on the left-hand side to get x plus 3 equals this. Now, to remove this square root, we will take the square on both sides to get x plus 3 whole square equals square root of y plus 4 whole square. This will get cancelled out, and we are left with y plus 4 equals x plus 3 whole square. Now take 4 here to get y equals x plus 3 whole square minus 4, and we are done. This will be the inverse of this f of x. Finally, let f of x equals 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. It might seem difficult to solve, but 
If you carry on with the steps I have shown you in the last few examples, then that will not be the case. Replace the f of x with y. So y equals this. Now swap x and y. So we have this. Next, find y in terms of x. We can do that by eliminating the fraction by multiplying both sides by y minus 1. This gives us x times y minus 1 equals 3, y plus 2. Now expand this. We get this as xy minus x. Now take this y this side and x here to get xy minus 3, y equals x plus 2. Next, factor out y from here to get y times x minus 3 equals x plus 2. Finally, solving for y gives us y equals x plus 2 over x minus 3, and that's it. This will be the inverse of this f of x. Now tell me in the comments what will be the inverse of both these functions. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon, as it helps me create more awesome content. For you. Link is in the pinned comment. So good!